<laughs> hey, Victor!
The Soul Reaver.
This was once the most academic of cities, housing some of the most prestigious universities in all of Nosgoth. While I would not weep over lost tomes, I detested the sight of scars left upon the world at the hands of the nemesis.
Yeah. <laughs> 
Elzevir, I have come for the soul. So, Otmar sent you to kill me, eh? I can smell him on you. Or is that the stench of the grave?
the soul reaver. Dollmaker, I have no time for these games. The soul is mine! I earned it! Upmark gave it to me! Then you shall earn it with blood. You shall not have it! Mine! 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 Elzevir imprisoned the girl's soul in a small fabric doll. The old man's intentions I shall never know.
I entered the court with the doll maker's head in one hand and the doll containing the girl's soul in the other. I placed them both before the king and watched his eyes catch fire. With the doll in their possession, the court sorcerers could restore his daughter's soul. I do not know that I can thank you enough, warrior. My kingdom is but a small price to pay for my daughter's life. Willendorf is yours if you wish it. It is not your kingdom I desire, but your army, Otmar. I require troops to vanquish the horde that descends upon us from the north. Very well. Courtiers, fetch me my armor and mace. There is war to be waged! The scourge of Nosgoth is upon us, friends. We shall die today as heroes, lest we live tomorrow as slaves. Ready thine arms for Nosgoth! <laughs> In the distance I saw the Nemesis armies march forward, a black tide that would soon wash over the armies of the Hope. They came at me in throngs, no fervor as, for as strong as that inspired by a madman. The nemesis armies were fierce and showed no signs of subsiding. <laughs> I 
sated my thirst on warriors of horde and hope alike, the dying relinquishing their final moments to give me strength. The nemesis and his horde fall upon us, my friend. I fear I can defend Nosgoth no longer. The nemesis must be destroyed. For oh, my daughter Cain. For the world. The tide turned with Otmar's death. I watched as the remaining survivors of the armies of hope fled to the safety of the forest. The battle had decided its victor. The fate of Nosgoth now lay in the nemesis' hands. At once the battlefield was gone. Where the ground was caked with blood and dirt, there was lush greenery. Where chaos reigned only moments before, this damning, calming calm prevailed. Alas, it seemed I was stranded here. The time-streaming device lay in pieces at my feet. Would you stand idle as vermin destroy your crops? No! no! As your house burned? No! Will you allow this evil to continue? No! Will the wickedness end? In us! Do you believe? Yes! yes! Then take me to your king so that I can prepare you for the onslaught.
So it seemed I was in the land of William the Just. Fifty years before the battle I had just escaped would take place. stronghold of William the Just. It was time for me to pay a visit to he who would become the nemesis and force Nosgoth on its knees. <laughs>
Slow time, font of putrescence. Font of pu should this
Yes, the, these weapons you've provided will see to that. Uh, uh, pray tell, Mobius, what game do you play? None, my lord. I only wish to aid you in vanquishing your foes. The weapons are but a token of my goodwill. A and the news you bring, a vampire said to slay me? Where did you come upon such knowledge? It is of no consequence, sir. It was only out of concern for your majesty's life. Perhaps, perhaps. Very well, then. You may leave me now, but should I wish to speak to you? I will know, your majesty, and I shall be there in time. Oh! <laughs> 
Ah, yes, the vampire. Uh, Mobius told me you would come. <laughs>
his guards rushed to save him, William the Just's <coughs> blood was already renewing my strength, replacing the life his sword had stolen from my veins. The poor fools come to aid their fallen leader. Let us have some amusement. A time streaming device. Strange. When coincidence seems too convenient, I prefer to call it fate. With William the Just dead, Mobius's plans have been thwarted. His pawn was removed from the game. Oh! <laughs> 
I found myself once more in the Nosgoth I knew. The carnage from battle was gone. Yet there was something nice. From the distance, I heard cries, and a breeze from the south carried with it the faint odor of vampire blood. To it seem the folly fell upon my own shoulders. With their sainted King William dead by my hand, the people of the land were consumed by a hunger all their own, for vampire blood. As I wandered about more, the shrieking and cheering became more apparent and defined. There was some sort of gathering to the south, for with each cheer I smelled an outpour of blood. I make no pretense to justify my killing, yet these vampire hunters would cloak their bloodlust beneath a veil of righteousness. Hypocrites! They would make themselves judge and jury. Very well then, let us see how they take to my role as executioner.
unholy scourge! Not yet, my friend. Would you be free of the plague if only one city was cleansed? No! no! Would you spare one wolf in the pack that has devastated your herd? No! no! Then let us destroy them all! Yeah! He is the last! Destroy him! The people will not rest until not is purged of your kind. I had been betrayed. In my haste, I had not realized it before. That sigil on his forehead, the Oracle of Nosgoth, was in fact the time streamer Mobius, and I had followed his advice. How much of my quest was of his design? Willendorf? The Battle of the Last Stand? William the Just? Was this the trap he had fashioned for me? We will send you back to the grave whence you came, vampire. I have seen the future game. You are not in it. Let us call upon the puppets from the past! <laughs> From the present! <laughs> And from ages yet to come, to come. <laughs>
ironic. By going back in time and altering the past, you turn William the Just into the nemesis. I, you have seen my plan, vampire, as I have seen your destiny. The future says you die. But I am dead. As are you. Mobius's hourglass was the focus of his time-streaming magic. Farewell, sorcerer. The sands of time have ceased to flow for you. Well done, Cain. <laughs> Mobius did so love playing the trickster's part. His guise as the oracle served his schemes well. Pity with all his plots he failed to plan for you. Come to me, my undead son. Make haste to the pillars. The stage is set for the grand finale. You will have your vengeance. You betrayed us, Mortanius. You had Cain killed and turned him into a monster. You set him upon us. It had to be. Nopraptor's insanity poisoned all of our minds. The Circle had failed in its sworn duties. It had to be destroyed. Failed our duties? Idiot! The Circle exists for us. We don't exist for it. Our powers will save or damn Nosgoth at our whim. Stand with us, Mortanius, or die. Then I shall die. If the Circle is to be destroyed, you have to die as well, Necromancer. I admire your cunning, but you will not escape your fate. Nay, I will embrace it, but my death will leave one more to take, Princeling. Finish me! Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> you thought yourself a king, when in fact you were a pawn. You have served me well, Cain. <laughs> I serve no one. Indeed, such not narrow vision. Don't you see? My silencing of Ariel and its calculated repercussions is but the first act in my theater of Grand Guignol. Are the tragic hero. Play on, little vampire. Play on. Fay Victus! The death orb of Mortanius had given the necromancer dominion over the grave. I had thought him the last of the circle, and yet he spoke of another. Before the pillar of death, I lay the orb of Mortanius. The pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it, wa it was restored. Anacroth's magic was contained within the metal of the scales and would eventually be released back into the pillar from whence it came. The scales of Anacroth I lay before the Pillar of States. The Pillar accepted its offering. Thus, it was restored. I am the last pillar, the only survivor of the Circle of Nine. At my whim, the world will be healed or damned. At my whim. Once I embraced my powers, I realized that Vorador was correct. We are gods. Dark gods. And it is our duty, duty to thin the herd. <laughs>
lost beyond all hope. You cannot see my feet for you have so shut your eyes. What will become of our love? I see only damnation.